Um, um, I have to say it was uh, slightly transformative for me when the title of this game went from a word that meant nothing to me to learning what pentiment is. Uh, now it's interesting. Yeah, pentiment, uh, we looked up. Well, I, I thought that it was pentimento, and then you looked up and confirmed that that is what it is, uh, which is, uh, it's when you paint over a painting. Like, it's when, it's when you, like, disguise or doctor a painting with other paint over it. Hmm. Um, and I know that, that that does fit in with the game style is very, is very painted. Uh, I think it I, has, like, a similar, uh, linguistic route to, like, penitence or something like that. Um... Yeah, so, so I don't really know a ton about this game. I'll tell, I'll tell you and the viewers what I do know, which is that there's a murder mystery, and you are, this is like, ooh, I want to say 16th century, but it might be 1600s, but it is old-timey, uh, solving a mystery, it is a time limit, you have like one action per hour or per day or something, and, um, it's like, you have to like, make sure you're doing the right thing or or opportunities will close to you as mm -hmm. you try to uh to solve the mystery we of this town still, we still don't really have like a good term for that kind of thing do we like uh, a i said i mask. told you majora's mask yeah that's what i said yeah I said it's a murder mystery majora's mask Ooh, a, a quadruple m yeah um it's I also, you know, I, mask. I love it. I was thinking Disco Elysium also, but but Disco Elysium doesn't really block you off from anything. Like as time goes on, you can't like screw yourself out of doing content by like by asking someone something in a wrong order, um, or at least mostly can't. Uh, so let's go. Let's go in here. Okay, easy read fonts. This game uses stylized fonts and writing effects that may be difficult for some readers. Definitely easy read using fonts. stylized fonts. Yeah, we absolutely are using stylized fonts. Um, we will the, be. The other thing I know about this game is it seems like it had a hundred thousand hours of art historical research put into it. Yeah. Oh no, I already can't read this. <laughs> 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 I don't think in, I'm supposed to be able to read in this. Principio this is not a, erat. This is not uh, in English. Press stone and move stone. I mean, I don't know why I would do that. So I give up. I mean, <laughs> I'm just going to press the stone because you said to. <laughs> I, I, my instinct says to press the stone over where there's the, the, mess, the messy bit here. Oh. oh, it gets rid of all of it. Look at that. I think... What do you think? I thought this was going to do a translation effect, the stone thing. Nope. And you're just getting rid of it. This is an eraser. It's a stone yeah. eraser. Oh, it's, a, it's a rubber. It's a, This is a rubber. What? Oh, they said that's enough. Didn't even let you finish? Nope, the they said fuck? that's enough. That's enough. So fucking weird to see the word Xbox next to this, like, very yeah. old looking book. Um, there's a lot of noise about, uh, no, uh, no Xbox games at the, uh, the Game Awards, which I didn't watch or care about. Um, but this just came out, people really like this. This came out, you know, er, before the Game this Awards game enough. Awards What's the Game that? Awards blows. I refuse to pay attention to it. Yeah, what I didn't watch it at all. But I did shit. see news stories today of people being like, like, people reporting on the fact that people noticed that there was no Xbox stuff there. And I was like, what about Peniment? Was it there? It should have been if it wasn't. That's a, that is Game Studios' fault. I'm sorry, that is uh, Game Awards' fault if it wasn't. Uh, manicules. Great music so far. Love the music. Look at the fucking two-fingered manicule. Yeah. That can't be real. Um, so this was designed 
uh, and and developed by a small bit of and I, the uh, of the Obsidian Studio that was. I recently. didn't mean that as a dare. Well, what was the dare? Like when you say that can't be real, but you're really hoping that it's real. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is this was made by a small team uh, on in the Obsidian Studio. I think while everyone else was making Grounded, they were like, "Can we make a weird medieval <laughs> art game?" And they were like, "Yeah, sure." And the abbot said to me, Andreas. Ooh, I'm all. I already get to decide what the abbot said. I don't want you distracting the sisters in the library. I need you to finish this commission by the end of April. Keep your conversations with Brother Piero to a minimum. What did the abbot say to us? The distracting the sisters thing. We're always distracting the sisters. <laughs> Up to the devil's work again, are you? Saint Gro uh, Grobian. Am I be doing maybe Beatrice too? I can be all Don't of these people. Don't encourage him. Devotion to one's work can yield the pleasures of the mind superlative to those of the body. Mm. Thank you, Socrates. Wow, Socrates is here. Either you need to spend more time... Spend time with more exciting lovers, or I need to learn how to work the Socrates way. <laughs> How did you reply to the abbot, Andreas? I apologized and said I'd be more mindful. I said, it's not my fault that God made me this handsome. I ignored him, which is what the comment merited. Maybe the third one? Maybe the third one? Okay. That may be so, but it put you on his bad side. I'll turn down the game a little bit more. Music's get music a little loud. Hmm. If the music seems too quiet for the people in the chat, let me know. Uh, what does it matter? Father Gernot needs Andreas to finish the Abbey's commissions. This is true, and Andreas is simply under the Abbot's employ, not a sworn brother of the Abbey. Why is Socrates here? I don't know. Who's Prester John? I think you're Prester John. Well, I no, I mean like who, oh, who is literally Prester John? who's Prester John? <laughs> yeah, good, good question. Despite the abbot's ire, you must endure. Soon you will have finished both the abbot's work as well as your masterpiece. And then you will return to Nuremberg, where marriage and your new life as a master await you. Ooh. Yes, marriage to someone he has never met. Hardly ideal. Jealous, Beatrice. Well, the alternative is becoming a philosopher. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> then you should definitely get married. Is she pretty at least? That's what my brother said in his letter, but maybe he's just trying to lift my spirits. The small portrait they sent was lovely, but we artists can mm -hmm. be flatterers. Oh, I like that one. Oh, who knows? That's not why I'm doing it anyway. Artists are flatterers. Mm -hmm. It is growing late. The wheel of time stops for no man, Andreas. I fear you must leave us. Uh, Dan and Lake Scum say that Prester John is a mythical Christian king that supposedly had a Christian kingdom in the Far East. Ah. Okay. Uh, Lake Scum says Middle East, so who- but so somewhere around there. Yeah, whatever. Fake king. Um, and who's, uh, who's our little, um... Saint Grobius? Fool. Yeah, who's Saint Grobius? He must have was like a- Patron uh, saint of stand-up comedy. Uh, he, oh, wait, uh, aren't- aren't, like, what is it, like, Saint Fools or something? Holy- Holy Fools, that was totally a thing, right? I think you're thinking Maybe of Holy Divers. Were those. <laughs> <laughs> no, it goes like, Holy Fool! I remember how it goes. Um... Will we visit again? Uh, hopefully, but it's out of my control, Your Majesty. I don't know, Your Majesty. Well, I can't always dream of this place. Oh, I guess this is a dream. 
Uh, someone earlier said, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Juliet said, is Saint, this oh, like sorry, our Saint mindscape? Grobian. Is this St. Grobian? Grobian. Uh, St. Grobian is a fictional patron saint of vulgar and coarse people. <laughs> um... Trust in Providence. Uh, he means Providence, Rhode Island. <laughs> uh, Grobian. <clears throat> oh. Until next time, Andreas. Uh, I, I feel like there's a lot of words in this, so I've... Uh, yeah. Oh, I've, we may be skipping through some. Yeah, I, 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 oh, I've, just, I've decided yeah. to skip the low content sentences. This just fucking time. rule. <laughs> this is really good. You're in a fucking, like, clown yeah. boat. <laughs> Pay no mind to the other fools, Andreas! <laughs> That's how he sounds now. Uh, are you hearing the guy licking the boat? Going... <laughs> I am now! <laughs> right. Oh, and we're being blown by these cherubs. That's not cherubs. Cherub. No, no, is that... Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's hard to tell what they are. They look they look cherubic. Might never do. That's the embodiment of the winds of nature. Ow. Oh, we got hit in the dick. <laughs> oh, feet. We got hit in the feet. Watch where you're going. They're fools, Andreas. No point in trying to teach them anything. St. Grobian is a true fool because he speaks in a totally different manner every time <laughs> he opens his mouth. I knew old John would want you to adore the abbot shit. <laughs> but since I take you home, I get the last word. <laughs> Don't let the run you ragged, boy. Yeah, he speaks different all the time. That's his character trait. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will the abbot can't push me around. He's just trying to keep order in the abbey. I'm an outsider. It'll be fine. I don't want to cause any trouble. Um. Uh. I don't know. It'll be fine. That's no way to think about it. You need to stand up for yourself. I'm getting stomped on. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please, you please stop? Oh my god, that time we did get hit in the dick. My dick. My dick. Take, take me and my dick home, Grobian. <laughs> As you wish, Andreas. Good morning, Ursula. Yeah, that's good. Time to get up. The Baron, April 1518. So it was the 16th century. Yes, I was right first. I should clean this up. The Picatrix, Key of Solomon, the Heptamemeron, the Heptamemeron, Prior Fer Ferenc. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Look at that long finger. What? Look at that big finger. What did you just do? I clicked on Ferenc and it did this. I want to do it again. Prior Ferenc? <gasps> is that... Oh, is that must be Friar Ferenc. Prior. Yeah. Friar? Are you saying Friar or Prior? What is that? Oh, that it be? says Friar probably, but I, I read it as Prior because it looks like it, Prior. Let's zoom back in. Does it say... No, it says Prior. It does say Prior. Okay. Uh, prior Ferenc keeps giving me all these books to read. What a chore. No, not go to bed. Mm. Mm. 
Um, I think you maybe have uh, um, the cancel background noise thing on in Discord because every time you try to do the baby talk, it cuts you out. Real? Yeah. Oh. Try again. Uh. Well. Andre. Oh. Yeah, it is. It is kind of cutting it off. Yeah, it's like when you first start saying this, it sounds like real words, and then it sounds not like real <laughs> words. So maybe we were wrong. Ooh, it's Clara. Let me see. I'm gonna. Good morning, Andreas. Did you sleep well? Quite well. Ordinary as far as sleeping goes. Not well. Yeah, why not? Why not be positive about it? I, it seemed like a good dream. Seems like a familiar dreamscape. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. Anyway, I know you'll be off to the Abbey, so I packed you some food. Almonds, cheese, and some of the rye you like from the Albans. Otto wanted me to ask you to join him for dinner at the Abbey. Otto. Big thingy. That's Otto. <laughs> Big Look at these thingy. big thingies. Big thingy. Am I gonna just get yeah, just get Otto again? Otto is here at dawn. Alibi for the murder. I would like almonds and cheese and rye bread. That sounds like a good lunch. Hmm. I recently um, forgot what pumpernickel tasted like, and I got a pumpernickel bagel, and I was so mad. Pumpernickel's great. I hate it. I hate I it. I mean, I don't know that I would have pumpernickel as a bagel. Did you it was a bagel cheese? sandwich. What was, what was on it? It was like ham, bacon, egg, cheddar, and like a, a pepper, like a red and green pepper cream cheese it was everything was in this thing's favor and i had to eat all the middle stuff out of the sandwich because i hated the bagel so much um what was Sorry, wrong I didn't, with the pumpernickel it probably just it tasted like pumpernickel well what, what did they put in that stuff to you what is the taste of pumpernickel that is no good uh I don't know, it tastes like it's got like a a lot of something acidic in it or something. Put um, some kind of nasty vinegar in there. What do they do to it? Well, pumpernickel, and I could be wrong. I'm not a I'm not a bread expert, just a bread enthusiast. Pumpernickel is like whole grain dark rye. I don't know what that means. Um I just know it's got a weird name. Pumpernickel. And I thought maybe I, like I was like Ah, oh, you've probably just been avoiding Pumpernickel because it's a weird name. Then I remembered, actually, I'd been avoiding it because it has a weird taste. Groschen, a type of thick silver coin minted throughout the Holy Roman Empire. Groschen are typically worth 12 fennigs, but may be minted at different values. We're behind on our taxes to the Abbey. Two months, no, oh, two months behind. <laughs> I know what a month is. I didn't need to write a line under month. I knew what a month is. Peter's losing his hair over it, even more than usual. I mean, poor Peter. I noticed the That's S Peter. must have been taxes too. I'm not sure how. Sure. Oh, to respond to this, Ren wasn't due until the beginning of May. Be generous, Andreas. You can spare the money, and it will ease their burden. You must take the consequences of inaction into account. What is this shit? Don't they is pay taxes every year? Why is this falling on you to fix? Be generous. But what if it? Okay. Well, what was the issue? I mean, they're just behind on their taxes. They asked for money. Yeah, they want they want twenty four more 
Phoenix. Um, let me ask, well, wait, were these taxes unexpected? Philanthropy, Keith. You know what I learned about the word philanthropy recently? Uh, no, tell me. The original meaning was not, we think of philanthropy as being essentially uh, interchangeable with the word charity. Right. It used to mean a more specific type of charity, a charity that you're doing essentially because you know it's morally correct to give charity even when you suspect that the person asking for that charity might not be sincere in what they're telling you uh in asking for it uh it's funny that we use it interchangeably with charity because the sorts of people that do philanthropy probably do feel that all charity is that uh modern philanthropy yeah, you know, philanthropists probably all feel that way about charity. That people don't really need it. That you should just do it because you're supposed to look like you do it. Hmm. Okay, so their taxes did get, go up. So, I am going to help. Of course. It's no problem at all. Besides, we wouldn't want Peter to lose any more of his precious hair. <laughs> oh, God bless you, Andreas. And may St. Luke watch over you today. Speaking of St. Luke... Scient Luke. Speaking of Scient Luke... St. Luke, Christian evangelist and patron saint of artists and physicians, often are represented by a winged bull. It's not correcting this one. What do you mean? Oh. It said science, and oh, it wasn't correcting okay, it, but okay. then it did correct yeah. it. I literally didn't notice that it said science. I thought you were just <laughs> joking around. Um, slowly, I'm afraid. Most, mo most of my days are spent doing work for the Abbey. It's only during the divine... Office, divine office, office. <laughs> that, that prior uh, uh, Ferenc allows me to work on my masterpiece. Divine office. The I prayer time times observed by, observe by oh no, go ahead. By my all Christian monastic orders, monks and nuns pray together seven times a day and once at night, as dictated by the rule of Saint Benedict. I didn't know that I could do this. I don't really know how I even got there. Wow. Oh, it's a right click. Oh, but it costs a right click. Ooh, I like when it zooms in and out, when it does that like little change of camera, you can slightly see the 3D of this box. Huh. Like it changes from picture to movable thing. It might be harder to see on the on the screen share for Kylie. Mm. Wait, let me read the wait, go back to oh. Divine Office. I did that thing where I was reading it so I didn't actually like take it in. Wow. Oh, okay, so it should so I it's not one of those, it's all of them. Right. A reasonable restriction, but slow going. The city council doesn't require it to become a master. I'm making it mostly to show clients, and for my own sake. And yes, when I do finish, I will go back to Nuremberg, where I will marry and open a workshop of my own. Nuremberg, free imperial city of the Holy Roman Empire, major trade center and city of arts, including printing. Do you remember something that a teacher said that gets, like, stuck in your head, and now whenever you see something, you, like, hear the thing that the teacher used to say in your head? Yeah, of course. Uh, I had, uh, when I was in AP Euro, and we were studying a European history, uh, my teacher used to, whenever the Holy Roman Empire came up, which was very often, um, uh, uh, she always used to read Holy Roman Empire, which was neither holy yeah. nor Roman. <laughs> And yes. I, I hear that in my head every time I see the words Holy Roman Empire. Me too, because of Coffee Talk. Coffee Talk? That was a, I think that was a joke on Coffee Talk, the Mike Myers SNL sketches. 
Oh, I did. Like, I just assumed this was something that neither like, holy was nor with. Roman discuss. Or am I just thinking of that because that was the joke format that Coffee Talk always used? But actually, this joke is just like from academia or something. Uh, Dan says, "I think Voltaire said that," and Lakescombe says, "Oh, that's a history teacher all timer." Yeah. Okay. I was just confusing the joke. Uh, Lake Sims, but, um, Lake Sims is mine, mine was neither holy nor Roman nor an empire, uh, which is also sort oh, of... Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think my teacher also would say the third thing, but I think it was mostly neither holy nor Roman. Uh, I don't know. I played Crusader Kings. It seemed like a freaking empire to me. I was just about to say I still have no idea what the Holy Roman Empire is. I only know about the real Roman Empire. Um, I, 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 well, apparently Dan is a history teacher, so uh, they can correct me if I'm wrong. But um, my impression is that uh, that the Holy Roman Empire is um, it's difficult to describe simply, even though that's what it deserves. <laughs> Not really answer to my question, but it's fine. Uh, I, it was just a big, it was just a big country with a king, and the king was sort of in charge of Christianity for all of the countries that decided that they felt the same way. I think when, when, when around this time, like the like oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. late Middle Ages. Okay. Where? Central Europe. Right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, Dan says it was a conglomerate yeah, of states that Nuremberg was kind thing. of ruled by an emperor, but not 100%. That's the simple version. Uh, and Lace comes says, but it was also very decentralized and functions kind of as a confederation. Um, wow. A few missteps. What do we? Yes, I suppose it yes. does feel like I'm starting a new chapter in my life. After a few missteps, some wandering, a little too much fun. Some wandering. Some wandering. Um. It must be rather frightening starting all over again. I owe it to my family to make something of my life. It is, but now I know that this is what I want to do. Uh, Lacecom adds that Oz and Walker likes to say that they would go to war with each other and shit, and that is true. Although, that's true of that's everywhere funny. throughout all of history, also. Always going to war. Well, but usually not if you're part of the same Roman Empire. Well, the... The, 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 or, the original Roman's favorite country was going to war with each other all the time. Uh, what's up? Greece! Ancient Greece! Oh, uh, yeah. So, not, well, su not surprising it, that a country based on a country based on a country that was always going to war with itself would go to war well, with itself. Well, important to remember that the idea of ancient Greece being one place is more of an idea that modern Greece made up to convince everybody it should be its own place. Um, but, uh, you know, the state, I the, should say state, so it can be its own state. Right. But the, 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 the Holy Roman Empire looking back at Greek history through the lens of yeah. learning stuff about Greece at the time probably would have seen it. I mean, I could be wrong. Probably would have seen it as Interestingly, I think, um... Weirdly, I think this is still more in, like, the period where there was kind of this black hole of knowledge about ancient Greece in, like, Western and Central Europe. But I could be wrong about that. That may, This might be later than that. I've seen you sketching such beautiful things in your little book. It's not little. <laughs> yeah, it's a very big and important book. Are we confident or are we not confident? Or not? I don't so want the, the middle one. It um, is my finest work, or well, it's hard to say until it's done. Uh, Dan, this game takes place in fifteen sixteen. 
I've never been the, this the the top one. I've never been that confident about anything I've ever done. So I guess the bottom one. Oh, okay. I thought I thought you wanted to live a little. So. Oh no, no. I've never wanted to live. It makes me glad to see some confidence in the men around here sometimes. Oh, she wants it. Now I have to get back to my own work. Have a good day at the Abbey, Andreas. And we'll see you after Vespers for supper. Monastic hour at dusk, one of the major prayer hours. It is followed by supper. Ugh, imagine having to pray all the time. That would blow. <laughs> <laughs> imagine if you were, like, playing, like, a really good video game and you had to stop to pray for, like, 20 minutes. Not tonight, but thank you. Klaus Drucker invi invited me over for supper. Yeah, to the next sup. time you... Uh, Look at these cats. These guys rule. The next time you feel like you're wasting your life, you spend all all the time inside, like, watching TV and looking at a computer screen. Remember that some people used to spend half their entire day every day talking to an imaginary friend who doesn't exist. And being scared of him. <laughs> Please be nice to me, magic friend. Please. Please, Lord God, don't send me to hell forever. Oh, Lord of the Rings Dan says some people spend a lot of time still doing it. That yeah, that sound is right. true. It sounds un. Oh no, it's that real. I don't think it's true. This God thing still. <laughs> Um, so medieval. Look at this guy. He just wants to say my name. He doesn't say hi, he just says my name. Just to check. Big Jorg. Morning, Andres. Morning, Big Jorg. How's it going? Hey, hey Big Jorg. You working today? <laughs> Just taking a rest for a bit. Dad's still in the field. This is like the new, my new favorite character name of all time. He hit a big rock with the plow, and it took me Lord knows how long to pull it out. <gasps> Jorg, you're not taking the Lord's name in vain, are you? You off to the Abbey? I guess he's Every not. Day, but it's Sunday. not the Lord's name. No, it's just the Lord's word. But... I mean, you know, we keep moving the goalpost on that, don't we? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for Sundays. Now that's the that's the Lord's name. Well, but we can thank God for them, can't we? It's really his day. Mm. So, I... Hmm. Smells like a storm's coming, no? Now, Fridays, that's pretty vain yeah i think i think thank god for sundays not in vain thank god for chewing gum that might be in vain pretty vain pretty vain thank god for my good looks that's <laughs> wow. that is taking the lord's name in vain Listen, that's just having it and flaunting it uh uh Starcat says the blank that gets written in is interesting. Is on oh. An Andreas editorializing some bla blasphemes in? Yeah, I don't know. I don't Did know what the, I didn't notice that. Uh, yeah, actually, it's been both times when he said God and Lord, it filled it in and then went back in red and wrote it in red. Maybe it's just you need to change ink, so you write it all in. That's black. just how it. Yeah, that's just how it's been doing the red text. And yeah, I don't know if that is just an effect that they're choosing to do, or if that has some kind of historical accuracy to look at the fucking jetpack cat! Holy fuck! Oh, that is the thumbnail. <laughs> that is the fucking thumbnail. That's the thumb snail. Hey, hey now. Wanderhar, or wandering years, during which a journeyman artist or craftsman travel far and wide to improve their skills. Huh. Sounds like something for rich kids. 
Yeah. Pick a background that will affect your character's choices going forward. Press and hold to confirm your choice. Uh, Basil. Andreas knows some Italian and French and can reference cultural touchstones from Basel and nearby Bern, Zurich, and Freiburg, low countries. Andreas knows some Dutch and French and can reference cultural touchstones from Antwerp, Bruges, and Ghent. Italy. Andreas knows Italian, a little Greek, and can reference cultural touchstones from Florence, Venice, and Milan. Um, Italian and French... I definitely want to know French, because I used to know French, and I miss knowing French. French and Dutch is not impressive to me, because even knowing a little French and knowing English, I already feel like I sort of know Dutch. <laughs> uh, sorry to Dutch, um, as a language. You basic. You basic. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I no, but it is true. I you know you'll you if you know a little bit of French, uh, especially I can read French best. That's like the best thing that I can do in French is still read it kind of. And if you see something in Dutch and you know English, also you really can muscle about fifty percent of that, and then context clues, etc. You can kind of read Dutch a little bit. So I'm not impressed by someone that knows Dutch and French, uh, French and Italian. I guess that one's interesting. Yeah. But Bruges, I I love that movie in Bruges. So, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's all I know about Bruges, but I've not seen it. Um, let's let's do uh Over in Switzerland, Basel mostly. Swiss air must be different then. Spend enough time in these mountains and you'll be able to smell a storm coming. How long will that take? Hmm. 10, 15 years? I don't think I have that long, Big Jorg. <laughs> Look at his face. What'd you spend all that time in Switzerland doing anyway? Other than art, I mean. Pick a background that will affect your character's choices going forward. Press and hold to confirm your choice. Hedonist. Andreas seeks out pleasure wherever he goes. He is extremely social and quite experienced in all the enjoyable vices of the world. Craftsman. Andreas lives to work and dedicates all of his time to art. Bookworm. Uh, he spends all of his non-working free time finding and reading as many books as he can. The loser seems like a bookworm to me. Rapscallion. Andreas has a penchant for getting involved in petty schemes, pranks, minor crimes, and fistfights. Uh, businessman. Andreas devotes much of his time to self-promotion, optimizing business expenses, making investments, and balancing his books. We're being raided by four people. <laughs> We're being raided by four people. To your stations. Hello to your stations at guests. Hello, Dan. Uh, Dan says Rapscallion rules. I don't know if uh, if Dan means in this game. Okay, yes. Yeah. Dan knows about the game and says you can flirt with nuns if you're a hedonist. So don't, I, don't I, do that. Don't I mean, flirt you, with nuns? Oh, I mean, do that. But Dan, you don't don't overstep, Dan. You're saying don't give us spoilers. Yeah, I guess that's what I mean. Um... I'm I'm deciding between the first three. Do you want to eliminate one between hedonist, craftsman, and bookworm? Um, can I see craftsman again? Uh, he lives to work and dedicates all of his time to his art. Wait, lives to work and dedicates all of his time to his art. Right, he his art his Works work is his art. art. So yeah, he doesn't he's... have he doesn't have another thing that he does. He just does art. Well, I really feel like that's his thing, but I think it'd be fun to flirt with the nuns. Flirt with the nuns. <laughs> <laughs> Swiss yeah. women are beautiful and the beer isn't bad. What do you think I spent my time doing? Sounds, Sounds like, like fun. fun. <laughs> but you better not let Father Thomas hear about it. 
that's a nasty old Father Thomas. <laughs> Pretty sure. <laughs> of these people, I think this oh, is Father this Thomas. Guy. Yeah, this guy's a freak. He's this guy's so a nasty. Freak. Who... Who do you think taught the nuns to flirt? <laughs> <laughs> and what is another going thumb, on over here? Another potential thumb thumbnail. Potential thumbnail. <laughs> this is horrible. Yeah. Uh why not? Priests tell us to emulate the lives of the saints. I revere St. Augustine, who said, Lord, make me chaste, but not yet. Got him. St. Augustine of Hippo uh, was an early Christian philosopher, theologian, and bishop of Hippo Regis. He is recognized as a doctor of the church and is most known for his works, The City of God, and his autobiographic confessions, as well as his development of the doctrine of original sin. Wow, this guy blows. Yeah, it sounds like a loser, except that for... That escalated quickly at the end there. Is if you say so, on... Andreas, that's, yeah, that's a, bug a bug in the game. That's a bug in the game. <laughs> Ugh, there's a bug in the game. There's another bug. I still think you're going to get in trouble with Father Dan, Thomas. Dan offers big deal in Christendom. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, would you like to be Peter over here? Jorg! Anyway, I have to get going. Jorg, let's go! <laughs> Dan says liked to fuck and felt bad about it. What an <laughs> asshole. Dad's already exactly, acting like exactly I'm talking. Exactly not the energy we need right now. Look, people people were confused about fucking in the 1400s or whatever. Uh, Dad's already acting like I'm talk taking too long, even though I did all the work to get that rock out. See you later, Andres. Until later. Tis I, the Heaton. Yeah, Andreas speaks in in calligraphic characters, so we know he. Look at he's Ill got that Peter. He's got that fancy boy talk. God bless you, eh. Andreas. Oh yes, uh, Andreas really? Yeah, not Andreas. I think it's Why? Andreas. Why do you think that? It just felt right for the time. To who? To me, I said Andreas was the first thing I said, and then I was like, I bet, I bet they've got a weird spin on it. I bet it's Andreas. If anyone in the chat knows how to pronounce the name, if one of this them is right. This weather's been god awful. This town's gonna shit since my gone. This shit. This town's gone to shit since my days. I don't think the townsfolk can do much about the weather. Were things very <laughs> different when you were young? As different as beer and piss. Wow, ill Peter has a mouth. <laughs> the old abbot didn't bother us much about our customs. He didn't mind if we left a little offering to Perchta. Perchta? Perchta. Perchta. Pagan goddess of the Alps, associated with animals and spinning wool. She is still invoked by some Christians in Austria, Switzerland, Bavaria, and Swabia. Perch to keep the skies clear, the weather fair. Matthias knew <laughs> Tat, <laughs> Tat Christ was... <laughs> Matthias knew that Christ was in our hearts, even if the white lady's name was on our lips. The church banned all observations of pa pagan gods, ill Peter. What sort of old customs? <laughs> what a fucking shit thing to say. I thought St. Moritz protected tassing. You think that spirits have been fouling the weather since no one follows the customs anymore? St. Moritz is the patron saint of tassing. Legend what states- What is tassing? Tassing is where we are. Oh. Um, 
uh, the Egyptian-born commander of a Roman legion who converted to Christianity. They were all martyred for their faith. His hand is a relic in uh, Kearsaw's shrine. Uh, my favorite Christian thing is how many Christian like churches around the world have the body parts of saints just like in their yeah. basement. It's like the best <laughs> thing that Christianity's ever done. <laughs> What sort of old customs? Christianity got rid of the gladiatorial combat, so it sure as what well, fuck wasn't that. No. Kind that scare away witches and keep spirits from calling storm clouds over our farms. The saints weren't the first to watch over Tassin. My father knew that. Old Ranig Kemper knew that. Ranig Kemper, the late husband of... Otilia. That bastard abbot may not like it, but some of us keep the traditions alive. What do these traditions entail? When you get up in night, take a piss, go around the right side of the house, and never go back the same way. The church doesn't let you not go back the same way. <laughs> God, the weather would be better if not for not go back the everyone, same way. Listen to me, boy. Everyone got to walk the same way around their house when they piss at night. <laughs> or else the weather going to be bad. That way, the witches don't steal your soul. Yep. Oh, how interesting. <coughs> I should go. Hmm? All right, God bless you. The fucking rolls. <laughs> so good. Yeah, thanks, Ill Peter. Thanks for the <laughs> Just lesson. Like, uh, what kind of a uh, what, what kind of old faiths are you surreptitiously practicing out of view of the <laughs> of the church? Like, well, <laughs> when I piss at night, I don't walk the same way back. What other piss-related traditions have you been avoiding? I drink my grandson's clean pee. That I have it won't let me drink kid piss. That's why I'm getting so old. Would you like to be Endress? <laughs> oh, Andreas, good timing. Do you have a moment to lend me a hand? I'm already late to the Abbey. Ah, let's do I'm it. I'm already late to the Wonderful. I've got too many irons in the fire. Take some irons out. Or rather, shoes. Horseshoes. I miscounted how many I put in. Now I need a hand, else they'll overheat. I won't be able to work the metal. Here, take the shoe and the tongs. Put the hot, put the hot part. part of the shoe on the anvil, and I'll hit it with the hammer. Wow. Now this I did not expect. Faster! Oh, Dan missed this. Oh. Good. Next one. Oh. Good, good. So I'm having, I was having trouble, uh, with, um, the windowed, uh, screen. I, like, minimized everything by mistake. Uh, Five Gold Dean's Pentiment is a, is a relatively new game, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. Uh, yes, it is new. Couple weeks. If, if that, maybe a week and a half. Thanks for the help, Andreas. Should have made him also have the same kind of accent as the other guy. Yeah, that's just you're all of them. All of the ones that you voice are going to sound like that. Have you considered an apprentice? Have you considered a child? <laughs> None of the boss in the village seem interested. I have. None of the boys in the village seem interested. I wonder if the respelling thing is like some sort of uh, like spelling shift and they're they're typing things out in a way that like would have been a more accurate spelling 500 years ago and then changing uh, it to be what it would be now. 
he asked. You might be right about that. Uh, Five Goldeen saying, no, they just meant the horseshoe game. Oh, <laughs> like, okay. They didn't see it, and they were like, did this just get added? I don't, I don't know if they added in a horseshoe game. Maybe Burps. the horseshoe game, hey, maybe the horseshoe game wasn't ready for day one. Maybe they needed to fix it. I know Klaus. Yeah, yeah, seen Klaus. Klaus says, don't hire my kid to work in your fire pit. All right, let's try to make it to the, to the damn Abbey. Oh, it's my favorite super group. Damn Abbey. Damn Abbey. Look at this mad guy. Oh, got wow. Ted, Ted Nougat. Martin, please, can you give me a hand here? What do you want? I'm keeping an eye on him. That looks a lot like standing there and doing nothing. Like I said, I'm keeping an eye on him. Martin, for Christ's sake, help your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> ah, morning, Andreas. Excuse us. One of the fence rails fell off and the sheep started hopping it. Is there something I can do to help? No, excuse me. I'll try to stay out of your way. Martin, idiot. You gonna help them? <laughs> Should I offer to help? Hmm. Let me... Sorry, excuse me while I decide something. It's excuse complicated. Excuse me, brain party. Perhaps helping others also helps us. It allows us to feel useful and take satisfaction in our work. Oh, I didn't recognize him the last time we had one of these. This is Socrates from our dream. Yeah, yeah. That idiot Martin should be helping them. Yell at him. Give him a good scare. <laughs> yeah, I'd do that one. Hey, that is presumptuous. I'm not close to their family. Good point. Good point. Hey. What's that? I know you're here. It's Cheryl. She's here. Big whoop. Sorry, didn't mean to be so annoyed, but you made me miss a line. Everyone knows it. Who is that on the horse? The horse looks, rich. looks rich. <laughs> looks rich. <laughs> looks rich. I don't know, Martin, but Lucky is giving him an earful. I haven't seen Lucky that worked up since Peter and Clara's wedding. When, when Johan pulled his pants down. I like it because I'm hedonistic. <laughs> Show me that dick, Johan. Knock two of my men's teeth out. You don't want to feel the strength behind a stonemason's anger. Do you think he's a noble? He looks really rich. Damn it, Martin. Stay out of trouble for once. God damn it, Martin. <laughs> what on, Hetty? Behave yourself. Don't we have enough to deal with right now? Andreas, if you wouldn't mind moving your skinny little body up the road, we need to get these sheep under control. Everybody's always calling me little. Little body, <laughs> little bug. I'm actually very big. I'm fully grown, I'll have you know. I'm an adult. Don't work too hard, Martin. Hey, you just talk like a stupid fucking baby. Eat shit, Andreas. This will be remembered. Classic. We love that. Yeah. That happened earlier, too. Oh, it did? When did that happen? I don't remember anymore. Wow, so I guess it won't be remembered. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be remembered, but not by me. Wow, now we're fucking Sonic the Hedgehog all of a sudden. Do a spin dash. Uh, there's only a drop dash in this one. <laughs> well played. 
Oh no, there's something wrong with Klaus. Why would that- why would that be how that was written? Because it, it was- it was, um... It was- it was press printed. This guy speaks in press printing? Morning, Andreas! How's it going? Morning, Klaus. Another day at the Abbey, another few hours to work on my masterpiece. Good to hear. You still coming by for supper tonight? Marie and Bert would love to see you. That's Marie. That's Bert. That's Bert. We knew about that Bert already. Is, sorry, that other thing was like a blue turnip with a lady's face. You really need to see those new woodcuts I have for an Italian edition of Till Eulenspiegel. Till Eulenspiegel, the titular character of a popular 15th century book. Till is a prankster, continually exposing Ooh. the vices and hypocrisy of others. He is also quite skilled at tricking uh, people into smelling, touching, uh, or eating his excrement. What the fuck? <laughs> this, what is this, the fucking original fucking catcher in the rye? You ate meat during Lent, now you eat my shit in your sleep. What the fuck? That real history's wild. I didn't realize Father Thomas let you print books in Italian. See, oh, I guess printer. that's why he had the wood blocks, is because yeah, he's, he's a, a printer. He's a book printer. Come on, Andreas. He's not that strict. I know he's just trying to protect people from... Hell. Witch With mania? mania? Adventure stories of questionable moral repute? Your wow. sloppy oh. typesetting? Get the f Jesus, Andreas. Witch mania? Sure, why not? Some of... Some of... Some of things people are publish. Some of things people are publishing these days would make a bishop's head spin. Like the hammer of witches. I'll make a bishop's head spin. Or an abbot's. <laughs> it doesn't take much with that one. I know it, but at least I don't have to deal with it much. So, supper tonight after Vespers? Of course, thank you. This is really good. I love how his text, it, it all appears instantly. It really, like, impresses, like, the the upgrade in, like, speed when you're, when you're press printing. Oh, uh, yeah. Great. I'll tell Marie and Bert you're coming. See you then. See you later. Drucker House locked. Here he is, the famous Thomas. God bless, Master Mailer. I hope your week is going well. Or, well, you know, not a question. Anyway. I'll be polite for now. But don't cross me, Thomas. <laughs> Good, good. Andreas, I don't recall seeing you at Sunday morning mass. You understand how important it is for your salvation that you receive Holy Communion, don't you? I, yes, I apologize, Father Thomas. I promise I'll make it this Sunday. I just stayed up to finish my fucking latest draft. I just stayed up too late on Saturday. I don't want to get into an argument with him about this. Would going to church on this Sunday be such a This asshole can't make you go to mass. Hell with him. A man has many, many duties. Father Thomas would appreciate how hard you work to help the Abbey. Hmm. Almost everyone in town works hard, though. This guy second guesses every single thing that Socrates tells him. What a fucking moron. I think that he would second guess everything that everyone tells him. Uh, oh, I didn't say one. I didn't pick one. You did. You must have done it accidentally. I clicked. I clicked on the flowers. I clicked like over here, and it like picked Master for me. Master Mailer, this is. Lawrence. Baron of Roth Vogel. Roth Vogel? A great lord from the countryside near Worms. Wonderful name. No notes. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, did you die? No, I was banning a chat. Oh, okay. Uh, but it's 
com it's confusing to do look it. At the, oh, no, look no. at the uh, farmers in the back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love these little green men. <laughs> uh, Lawrence, Baron of Rothvogel. A great lord, a great lord from the countryside near Worms. I did all this. I just didn't hear you, so I, I wanted to see it okay. on my own. Uh, Worms, preposterous imperial free city <laughs> in the western part of the empire. Located on the Rhine River, Worms has been the site of many imperial diets. South Beach. Atkins. Atkins, big Atkins city. And of course, <laughs> Mouthful of Worms diet. <laughs> They're into keto now. Good to see you, Father Thomas. It is nice to be remembered fondly. I only wish all of your neighbors were as welcoming. Well, yes. What brings you back to our little town? My wife and I were returning from a trip to Venice. We spent a few days in Innsbruck, and it was terribly dull. Venice, one of the most powerful republics on the Italian peninsula. Never heard of it. Sitting on the southwest coast of the Ad Adriatic Sea, Venice is a major center for commerce and art in southern Europe. Doubt. And Innsbruck. Oh, Innsbruck. Oh, fuck Innsbruck. Fuck Innsbruck. Capital of the Austrian uh, county of Tyrol and major stop on the Imperial Road connecting Italy and Bavaria. It is the closest major city to Kearsaw Abbey and Tassing. Notably, it was also the site of witch trials in 1485. I mean, it has a certain charm common to these alpine cities, but the place was crawling with nobles for the emperor's diet. They eat they eat eats nobles? They eats nobles. Uh, 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 an imperial diet is an assembly of three colleges of the imperial estates of the Holy Roman Empire. The prince electors, the princes and dukes, and representatives of the imperial cities. They meet to deliberate on matters of importance to the empire. I feel like princes are overrepresented. They get the prince electors and the princes and dukes. What's a prince elector? That's a prince who elects. Uh, Workrovic says, says that bird has seen some shit, and I'm not sure if they mean this bird, <laughs> that bird has seen or some this shit. bird. <laughs> <laughs> that, that bird is seeing some shit right now. Help! I've never seen that. I'm seeing this shit. I've never seen this I've shit before. I've never seen this shit before. <laughs> a bird that's seen shit and a bird that has not until this moment yeah, seen is shit. is now finally seeing some shit after a life of not seeing shit. The emperor? Was he here? Did you see him? Oh, briefly, but he was sitting for a portrait at the time. Quite lovely. I didn't want to bother him or the painter. Who was the artist, my lord? I'm sure you know him. An older man from Nuremberg with enough of a reputation to paint the emperor. <gasps> That's my arch nemesis. I'm sorry, my lord. I'm not sure who you mean. Have you not heard of Albrecht Dürer? Pity. I thought he was known across the empire. Albrecht Dürer is a renowned painter and printmaker from Nuremberg. He is revered in Venice as well as across the Holy Roman Empire. Since 1512, he has enjoyed the patronage of Emperor Maximilian I. Anyway, my wife wanted to stay a bit longer in Innsbruck, and I decided to ride ahead to make a visit to Kearsau. I heard Father Matthias died shortly after my last visit, of course. A great loss for the Abbey and for us all. Murdered! 
Indeed. By good fortune, I recently came across a copy of Historia Tasfiae. Tasfiae. Taz. It's two S's. Okay, it's not an S and an F. No. He was reading so. during my last visit. Historia Tassier. Nailed it. An account of the early history of Tassing, Kearsaw's previous abbot, Father Matthias, Matthias, Ma Matthias, 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 had a copy. I, I think they're both valid. Matthias. Of the name. Baron Rothvogel had, a, had bought, brought another to the abbey as a gift. Father Matthias was hoping to find a second copy to corrobor corroborate the contents of the first. It contains some fascinating details about the history of this place. So I'm afraid they might even cause a bit of a scandal. <laughs> that's such an interesting idea, like a time period when... Like, you need two copies of the book to, to make, make sure. sure that the first one really is the real book. Like that Unless, it's not of course, they just made two fake books. Well, yes, of course. But it's like, I have to make sure this hasn't been, like, edited or expanded yeah, upon yeah. or something. But I must be off. There will be time enough to discuss Tassing's past later. I commissioned a manuscript from the Abbey through Father... Or no. Or no. And I have to come check on its progress. Father no. Gerno. There he is. Look and at him. we see him. Look at him. We see him. You Behold. don't see the hair on top of his head. Oh, my lord. If you have come to see your manuscripts, you should speak with young Master Mailer here. It's like so happy to pass them off on you. <laughs> Not quite a true master yet. I still have to marry and be approved by our city council. That's why he needs to marry. Now we know. Yeah. Nope. Andreas is a journeyman artist from Nuremberg. For the next few months, he's also helping in the Abbey's scriptorium. Scriptorium, a room for writing, illustrating, and illuminating man manuscripts. Though typically associated with monasteries, they have disappeared from almost all abbeys by the 16th century. A Nuremberger artist working in an abbey scriptorium in 1518? Oh, we should talk, Andreas. I must know the story. This, that's, that was weird. What, his reaction there? Or my incredible acting? Uh, I don't know. The in 1518 part is like a little bit much. Like, are we to presume, did people back then know say, about time say the name of the say the name of the year like well i know it's hard to imagine late but even in time in, even in the past sometimes things yeah, were outdated i know fuck you but like <laughs> things did move slower though i um, pointed at my screen like i would have pointed at you if you were in the room with me even though you're not on my screen Surely my lord would find little entertainment or companionship in me. Again, I guess they're little. not shying away from any other modern turns of phrase anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm already late, but I suppose it's all right. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, the Prince Bissett... The Prince Bishop of Fressing, you say? Religious and secular ruler of a scattered territory in the Holy Roman Empire, including the lands containing Tassig and Kersaw Abbey? No way. The very same. Come to supper at the Abbey tonight. Oh no, I already have supper plans. <laughs> Is... Did the Abbot invite me? Oh, don't worry about it, Father. Just show up after Vespers. 
What is he going to do? Refuse us? I... Excellent. We will see you then. And so what just happened? Millhouse, I'm dismounting. <laughs> Run <Red>. ahead. <laughs> Millhouse, I'm dismounting. Run ahead of us and take the horses to the Abbey's guest house. Say what just happened? We were invited to have supper with this guy, and he was like, "Can I come too?" And he was like, "Yes." And if this other person makes us think, then I'll tell them to screw. It sounds. It's okay. It seemed more like he did not want to be. Oh, uh, maybe I maybe I maybe I misinterpreted it. It see it seems like Lawrence is forcing Thomas to come to dinner when he when Thomas hasn't been invited and he's like I haven't been invited though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 what it is. So then, a journeyman from Nuremberg. Forgive me for saying so, but you seem a little old to not yet be a master. You said you were unmarried? No, I'm not married, but in truth, I came to my vocation later than my father and brothers. I was in university for a number of years at Erfurt. Erfurt is one of the most populous cities in the Empire and is located near its heart. It has been the home to a respected university since 1379 and is a center for humanist thought. Erfurt, wonderful! The same university as Martin Luther! Have you read his works? Tremendous mind! Martin Luther, priest and professor of theology at the University of Wittenberg, controversial for his opinion on the church's sale of indulgences to forgive sin, which were recently published and distributed throughout the empire. He, we were talking about a Christianity that's been freshly feced. Almost certainly did not nail anything to the we door know. of any churches. Just they like, stop saying it. it I didn't, didn't say it. I didn't even. Um, no one said they it. They were thinking it. They were all thinking it. Who is they? The viewers. Say in the chat if you were thinking it. Say in the chat if you were thinking it. He says things about the church that should have been said years ago. Three. <laughs> What's that? What'd you say? Uh, I'm just looking. We have 21 viewers. Okay. <laughs> Sore of Heart says they were. Dan says I wasn't. We know Dan. Get out of here. Shut up, Dan. I'm kidding. You don't have to shut up. Professor Dan. Uh, Crush Zombie uh, won't say either way. And Goldbeans doesn't think anything. Did you ever That's... make the post for this? I tweeted it. Okay. I forgot the other things that we do. When you said there was only 21 people in here, I was like, that sounds wrong. So I'm going to at the uh, Discord that we have specifically to announce streams in to announce the you know, stream. Or I, is it guy, is it too this... late to announce the stream? Are we gonna end the stream in twenty minutes and people are gonna be like, uh, yeah, I mean, twenty minutes or sooner? Yeah. Okay. He says things about the church that have been should have been said years ago. Might get him into trouble, but he's a brave, brilliant man. A BBM. Ooh, we shout out to all my BBMs out there. Brave, brilliant men. Where are you at? Wait, have you even met him? Did you? You must tell me. Ah, uh, no. He was a few years ahead of me. <laughs> yeah. His uh, ideas. He gave do me a swirly one time. I agree wholeheartedly. I simply must meet him if I get the chance. Oh, that's funny. Dan says, "Yeah, I was raised Lutheran too. They love that shit." <laughs> <laughs> they love the yeah. They love the nails. Yeah, the the nailing the thing. I I, I just remember. I don't remember what the reason was, but I do remember one time you came in hot to a run button thing. Being oh, because like, I had just learned about I, this. Yeah, I just spent six hours caring about Martin Luther for the first time, <laughs> and I've got to tell everyone that there were no nails. It doesn't what? matter that if there were no nails. It doesn't that change the story. 
It does. I think it it just changes it because he uh, just gave people the paper. He didn't nail it. Well, because it's uh, ultimately it it's because when it's not about nailing it to the the door, it becomes a story about technology because it was about the proliferation of press printing. Right. Which is, you know, part of what this game's about. I wonder if the good brothers of the Abbey have heard of him. This guy's gonna get murdered. This is the murder victim now. I've decided. Perhaps they've even read his list of 95 theses against the church. That is so many That's theses. That's so many theses! See, and this is exactly what we've lost in the Twitter era. You think you could put 95 theses in 240 characters? Get the fuck out of here. People used to think about theses. <laughs> and they also used to strap jetpacks to cats. All right, listen, there were a lot of things going on. Back and they then. also used to have one of these. And they, <laughs> and what, and they knew what that was. They knew what and this that's was. What we've lost. Keith was really exaggerating my Martin Luther thing. I feel like it must have been more like, here's an interesting fact I learned today, but you really painted it like I came in here like, we gotta tell the world about this. <laughs> I think it was pretty close to that. Get the fuck out of here. Father Matthias was not above having a lively debate. I hope Father Guernot does not disappoint in that regard. Abbot of Kearsaw before Father Gurneau, widely respected by the monks and nuns as well as the people of Tassing, known for his kindness and his love of books. But enough about Luther for now. Tell me if your tell me about your university studies. Uh, forgive me, Baron. Did you attend university? You seem very well educated. Ha! No. My family is merely wealthy enough to have provided me with all the books and tutors a child could dream of. Hmm. That's what I dream dreamt of also, was tutors. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it w if you weren't getting tutored, you were like working stones out of a field or something. <laughs> right? I yeah, fair. Well, if you're noble, you're probably either just getting tutored or no not anything is happening to you. I guess that's true. I guess... I you would probably, I would imagine you'd have no choice. But to be tutor? Yeah. I love all knowledge from Aristotle and Cicero to Fecido and Erasmus. Fino. Everyone in between and yet to come. Let's see them all. Cicero, statesman, scholar, lawyer, and renowned orator of the late Roman Republic. He is revered for both his contributions to Latin literature and his skill at rhetoric. Uh, Ficino? Uh, Marsilio Ficino was a 15th century Italian priest and humanist who was one of the leading figures of the Italian Renaissance. He is well known for his translations of the works of Plato into Latin. Uh, Erasmus, Erasmus of Rotterdam, a Dutch priest and philosopher who is a preeminent among northern humanists. He is known for his works in Latin and Greek, as well as his calls for reform within the church. Bad, bad, bad. Latin, Latin, Latin. Shut up. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Aristotle. I think the Holy Roman Empire cared a little bit. Greek philosopher and student of Plato, renowned as a polymath, he wrote on a wide variety of subjects. His worth, work is extensively cited by current scholars, and even more work is attributed to him than he could have ever written. Uh, never, and never <coughs> fucking the heard of One him. of them here brave enough to not learn Latin, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> This guy didn't know a single fucking lick of Latin, and he still did all that. <laughs> I may have misjudged the Baron. It seems he is as well-read as any university student. In truth, I am simply happy to speak with another well-educated man. Now then, did you earn your doctorate? 
Ooh. What's going on there? Why did that happen? That's, uh, like the- you must have clicked some kind of easy, readable text button. Because it, re it replaced it with easier to read typeface. I didn't- I didn't do that. Pick a background that will affect your character's choices Ooh. going forward. Ooh, do we want to be the theologic hedonist? <laughs> I mean, uh... <laughs> was it St. Augustine? Yeah. Following in St. Augustine's footsteps. Mm. Mm. Medicine. Getting sloshed on St. Augustine's. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Andreas knows the basics of the fractured systems of laws that govern the various states of the Holy Roman Empire. Interesting. Familiar with the basics of human biology, medicine, and illness. We have an understanding of Catholic theology, biblical knowledge, canon law, heresies, and similar subjects. Um, theology sounds like the worst one for sure. Oh, yeah? Why? Um... I... I think medicine because religion is sucks. Boring. <laughs> it's boring as hell. Uh, I I think that that they. You think medicine sounds like the worst one? Well, we're gonna solve a murder, so it seems like useful to know for murder. Hey, and what? Andreas doesn't know that. Right, but we we nah, do. No, I like. Know it. Uh, I don't like medicine. If you don't like theology, we should go with law. Yeah, law. I suppose I thought I could practice in Nuremberg. I never had much interest in the subject, honestly. A bit dull for my tastes. Besides, the Empire is such a mask of jurisdictions. Bavarian law, Rhenish law, Franconian law. Nonsense! Nonsense! I'd rather use my money to pay someone who studied the nonsense than learn it myself. You... If you had any faith, I would have prayed you'd never show your faith here again. Curse you, Lawrence Rothvogel. Perched as dogs, tearing you to pieces would be too kind of fate. Get his ass. Yeah. <laughs> These rustic communities display a shocking lack of hospitality, don't you think? <laughs> Who knows? By the time I finish guessing, the old crone will probably be dead. I don't fucking know. Just everywhere I go, people hate me. Who knows why? Anyways, fuck these people. Look at this shit eating grin, too. Well, what of your early time in university? Every student must study the trivium and quadrivium, yes? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The Oh, the trivium and quadrivium, which represent the lower and upper divisions of classical liberal arts, university education, uh, Latin grammar, logic, and rhetoric, uh, form the trivium and arithmetic, geometry, music, and astronomy that form the quadrivium. Uh, yeah, I think that I know a little bit of the trivium. <laughs> I think I do know a bit about those things. Yeah. Pick a background that will affect your character's choices going forward. Latinist, no, pass. Uh, uh, logician, uh, orator, occultist, heavens and earth. Uh, Andreas knows a great deal about the constellations, heavenly bodies. Yeah, he I think as a heat as we know a little bit about bodies. heavenly bodies. <laughs> yeah. Um, familiar with the and various plants and animals and occultists. A soul-endangering amount of theoretical and practical knowledge on alchemy, astronomy, uh, thurgy, necromancy, and various magical rites and ceremonies. Orator, we excelled at rhetoric in university. Uh, he's a skilled teacher, persuader, and public speaker. I'm liking this one. I think that will help us talking to people. But does he seem like one? I mean, we got this Baron to like us really quickly. What's the Do we seem like an occultist, though? No. Like, you know? We don't seem no. like any of this until we no. pick it and then start yeah. choosing the options that it presents yeah, us. I guess so. What's the logician one say? Um, you're a boring nerd who sucks. We think through uh, the implications of information as we receive it, 
adept at spatial analysis, and can easily perform complicated calculations. That doesn't sound like me at all, so I don't want to do that. Okay. Obviously, no, not Latin. Could help you with art. I would, okay. Or occultist sounds really fun. Order sounds really useful. What do you think? Uh, let me read the occultist one. Uh, knows a soul-endangering amount of theoretical and practical knowledge on alchemy astrology. Um... Um... Eh, it's up to you. Nice. Getting a phone call... Course. Are you accepting a phone call or are you just getting one? Okay, they're accepting it. I started with uh Piscino's Corpus Hermeticum. Corpus Hermeticum. And my interest only deepened from there. Uh, a compilation of 17 religious and philosophical treatises encumbering, encompassing the uh, soteriology of Hermes Trismegistus, or Thrice Great Hermes. Oh, if, if it's three, if it's Thrice Great, that's Trismegistus. <laughs> Uh, the centuries-old text reflects Egyptian, Greek, and Jewish traditions and ideas that were translated into Latin in the late 15th century by Marsilio Ficino and Lodovico, Lodovico Lazzarelli. Quite interesting, Andreas. I'll make some time to speak with you more on this topic during my stay. I look forward to it, my lord. Another- oh, we get two. Oh, great. Now that we get two, I'm leaning more towards logician. What are you doing? You're not trying to make another important decision without me, are you? No. Well, we get a second one of these, apparently. Yeah. And even though I was deciding between Orator and uh, Occultist, now that we get a second one, I'm sort of leaning Logician. So I'd like no, your input. Do Orator. The art of persuasion, naturally. <laughs> Sarkat says, so what did you say it? Oh, you know, law and heresy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I assume you studied the Greeks and Romans both. Law, heresy, no and one the born between to convince anyone that either is either. Uh, no one born between then and now could speak for shit. <laughs> Uh, yes, Aristotle and Cicero, of course, but also Christian thinkers like Augustine and Thomas Aquinas. Yeah, he fucking loves Augustine. He loves Augustine. Uh, an immensely influential philosopher, theologian, and jurist in the tradition of scholasticism. Nice. Nice. I, like many, are deeply, <laughs> are steeped in scholasticism. Uh, Five Goldine says Latin lets you be very annoying. Yeah, I already know this about Latin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you learned Latin, you'd be a shithead. Like, yeah, I know. Uh, uh, true, we have less use for public discourse than senators did in the Roman Republic. Exactly. What, what are they? What did he say? Uh, can't remember. <laughs> uh, the dot, because I looked away. It was, it was a while ago. 
The doctors of the church weren't trying to persuade politicians, but to move the mind towards Christian truth. Still, the principles remain the same. Invent your arguments, then arrange, style, and internalize them before delivering them to your audience. Splendid! Though I suppose an artist has little use for rhetoric, especially in a place such as this. Yeah, no shit. Why'd we study all this crap? Well, we changed- we decided to be an artist after- after all of this. Oh, that's right. He came to his yeah. vacation late. Okay. Uh, not true. Rhetoric is also an art, and like other forms of art, it should be created for the audience and its purpose. It can be practiced as easily in the streets of a rural town as the Curia of Rome. Oh, I forgot to see what Rome was! <laughs> ah, there's the Abbey. I have good memories of this place, and of Father Matthias. I was sad to hear of his passing. How, How did, did you, you come to know him? How did you come to know Kearsau at all? My family have been patrons of Kearsau for mm, I don't know how many generations. Some years ago, I heard that Kearsau still had a wonderful library and artisans. Professional artists have taken over most manuscript production, so I was shocked to find an active scriptorium here. Uh, there's not too much of it left of it these days. Two old men, a young, young scribe, and me. This is as good a place as any to create art. The artists that remain here are quite talented, if a bit old-fashioned. Say one or three, what do you think? Uh, probably the first one. Ah, uh, well, perhaps it is nostalgia that brings me back here. I commissioned a manuscript through Father Gurneau a year ago. I thought perhaps I would stop by and check on his progress. Wait, are you the artist working on it? It's a prayer book with 20 illustrations. Oh my god, you think your your home printer is slow? Imagine <laughs> of needing a monk to print your book oh, over like five years. Oh, you, you have problems working your home printer? What about a printer who needs a home? <laughs> <laughs> I do have to get going, though. That's not the line. And finally, we finally just got to the Abbey. Just got to the Abbey. Abbey. I know the work, but no, I do not know the artist well. The venerable brother Piero. Ooh. That guy, yo, that's definitely Ooh. brother Piero. Look at that fucking guy. Ooh. Ooh. I'm so old. Ooh. I'm 42. <laughs> These have been my long fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are you gonna... Hey, uh, Let's get to I the gonna... Abbey and then we'll All call right. it. Okay. How venerable! He still has his wits and his skills, if that's what concerns you. Brother Pierre has an incredible talent with color. Then I very much look forward to seeing it. No, this abbey smells like shit. Yeah. Millhouse, tend to the <laughs> horsos and the baggage. <laughs> Millhouse, tend to the horsos and the baggage. <laughs> I'm headed up to the abbey. I don't really think people in 1518 would have called them horsos. So that's far too modern. Well, let's, let's not keep the abbot waiting oh, any longer. We should stop now. We can tell we we're, like, to meet about the abbot. to witness. We're going to, like, witness a murder in two seconds, and then you're going to demand that we keep going for another hour. We should, like, save it for another stream or something. <laughs> Nuns. Nuns. Quite unusual for a Benedictine house to have monks and nuns, even if they are separated. Founded in the 6th century, the Benedictines are a Christian monastic order that observes vows of obedience, poverty, chastity, and stability under the rule of St. Benedict of Nursia, obviously. The church closed most of them centuries ago. But then, Kersaw is a place out of time in more ways than one. It's very funny to be playing a game set in 1518 where the place you are is specifically old-fashioned for the time. Yeah. 
Uh, Dan says there's a good break coming up if you want to know. So I, I think we should take advantage of that. Okay. Uh, do you know Mother Cecilia? We are acquainted, yes. Let's leave it at that. What? what Whoa! Oh. Yes! Baron of <laughs> Rothvogel! So wonderful to have you here again! We actually did meet on your last visit! You know what's funny is, I don't have any trouble reading that typeface, and what a stupid fucking, like... What a stupid skill for my brain to have why why who invented this typeface where all the letters are identical please forgive me what an asshole this guy oh the person who invented it <laughs> who invented this, this typeface? i'm giving this guy a new voice he sounded like a goofball in my head but i think that please I should... forgive me my lord but i wasn't expecting you to live for another few days yes i know but i wrote ahead i just couldn't wait to see my manuscript I'm sure it's no trouble. Uh, yes, I mean, no, it's no trouble. Did you want to see it now? Oh, in a moment. I could do with a bit of refreshment, though. May I grab something from the kitchen? It's called a kitch in because you kitch in. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, the you cold kitchen, food kitch the cold out, food. hot eat the food. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stream. <laughs> no, we can't end it yes, there. Well, certainly, my lord. I will beat you there. <laughs> Andreas. I don't know what you were doing with the Baron, but I need you in the scriptorium now! Book Hour is a type of illuminated manuscript that contains an abbreviated form of the prayers for the Divine Office, in addition to other religious texts. Most are relatively plain, but the wealthy patrons often commission lavish examples with elaborate illustrations. Is this a bad time to ask for an advance on my payment for the book hours? He <laughs> 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 literally did that. I should ask him again when he's in a better mood. Brother Mathau. I love how wow. uh, I love how Look at this guy. That guy fucking rules. Yeah. That guy fucks. <laughs> that guy fucks. That guy I illegally that fucks. It it really works how like um Andreas's speech looked by far the fanciest. Like until we met like the other guy on the horse, and then they were kind of the same, and now we meet this other guy, and his text is way cooler than Andreas's. Um, yeah, for sure. But uh, it's I do like it's I like, do like that the, 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 the everyone's um da, uh font represents them. That's fun. Yeah, um, though I can't tell like um. Oh, I can tell. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I, I was getting something confused in my head. Um. Anyway, that's the stream. Thank you for joining. Um. You have to go to youtube.com slash run button and subscribe to the podcast or subscribe to the YouTube channel. You have to. You have to. Go do and it right And then now. you also should go to contentburger.biz and sign up for our Patreon. Um. And there's... It's good. Um, that's all I gotta say. I mean, uh, you you could still follow us on Twitter, the Run Button account. Uh, you could also follow us on. We have a podcast, new we, new podcast coming out. Oh, new yeah, new. new podcast coming out. Not not today. Well, maybe not today. Anyway, uh, you don't seem like you want to do it today, and I know I'm not going to. No, uh, but we just today. recorded it today, so yeah, it was tomorrow. long. Are you have work tomorrow. I'll I'll edit. You send it to me, and I'll. Yeah, I'll dude, I had work today. No, you didn't. Yeah, I know, but... 
Well, I mean, you had it. You just didn't yeah. go to it. Yeah. Um, because you were sick. Because you were legitimately sick. Yeah, because I'm legitimately sick. Right. It's not. You don't have to not be sick to sit on a, your computer. Yeah. This is. Um. I'm sick. You can. That's hear why when if you were watching and you were like, Jesus, Kylie really sucking shit in this one. That's because they were sick. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I suck shit so bad in this one. I was sick. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs>